Twitter. Shout out to Australia. We got the whole world watching. Boy, mate, Australia, crikey. UK, Canada. He goes, no top G in your intro and David Goggins interview. Uh, the new intro is going to... New intro is being worked on, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, Dildo Swaggins, stop. Hobbit time. Question for the ladies. In your opinion, what do you think disqualifies women from being taken seriously? Okay. That's actually a good question. Yeah. All right. We'll start right here and work our way back. What disqualifies a girl from getting a serious boyfriend? Go. What is one trait? Um, your profession. If you're a bottle girl or you work in the club, a lot of men won't take you seriously. Ooh. Okay. 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 I don't think so. What about you? I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 automatically disqualifies a woman from a long term relationship and or marriage? I believe um kids. Okay. Okay. Have okay. multiple children. So yeah. Okay. What about you? For you? Mindset. Mindset? Okay, give us the specific mindset that disqualifies them. Um, I think if you Mike. Sorry. If you think about like things that things that really don't matter, like things that are not relevant or trying to basically put you in a better place in life. Like you're still thinking about like you said, Oh, I'm long, I'm lit, I wanna go to the club, I wanna this, I wanna that. Like you're worried about everything that's trending. You're not really setting a foundation for later on in life trying to build. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. So what, could we say prioritizing partying? Yep. Because that's a very broad topic you gave. Okay. Well, prioritizing, yeah, prioritizing. Prioritizing partying. She, she's putting uh, her fun enjoyment over family and okay. future. Yeah. yeah. All right. What about you? Being desperate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be this. Uh, be a little bit more um, <clears throat> descriptive in that. What do you mean specifically with being desperate? That could be mm -hmm. many things. I think men like the chase, you know. So if you're just kind of like, I just need a husband, any husband, you know, <laughs> anyone will do. And uh, that I think that's like the biggest turnoff. Okay. They can feel the energy is like it's too it's too easy. It's like Yeah. You you know, you wanna be a prize to win. Not that women are prizes to win, you know, but you should you should hold yourself to a higher standard. Okay. Question for you. Do you think men are the prize or the women are the prize in a relationship? Both. Um, there can only be one prize. I don't one agree. has to, one 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 party always has to concede to the other and care less. That's the way it is. That's how all relationships are formed. Mm, yeah, but I think they um they could shift. I don't think and I mean in some relationships of course there's there could be a dominant and a submissive that's but, how anything goes yes but I think they could also switch they don't have it don't, doesn't have to stay like that the entire time okay so the majority of the time since you want to be peculiar the majority mm -hmm. of the time who is the prize probably the women okay you think the woman is yeah go queen okay um so <laughs> He disagrees. No, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. I just said uh, that's an interesting point. Why is the woman the prize? Uh, I think that's how society looks at it. That's why men, and I think you say this also all the time, men care more about beauty and women care more about riches. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, what's harder to attain, beauty or money? Go ahead. It depends for sure. I mean, now it's easier to become more beautiful. You know, there's easier access to plastic surgery and hair extensions and okay. this and so that. So since it's easier to become beautiful and that's women's main commodity, how is it that women are the prize when getting riches is harder? Uh, because you could come from money. You don't have to. I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. What about uh, what about you? Um, what is something a, a trait that, that automatically disqualifies a woman from a long-term relationship? Um, I mean, outside of I guess being a party girl. Outside of that, mm, I don't know. It's just I don't know. Somebody that's I, either a party girl or someone that has like a. I mean, I guess just outside, motherfuckers just know you'd be sleeping around and stuff like that. Okay. So, a uh, hoe. Okay. Sure. Okay. I she just didn't want to say that. I was going to say that. It's amazing but... how girls like that. dance around it, bro. Okay. <laughs> what What about you, Mike? What disqualifies a girl for automatically? Um, well, she's a pick me. Like, oh, um, really? Yes. Uh, um, from my ex my experience, my dad has this girlfriend right now, and my dad finds her so annoying. She. Follows him everywhere in the gas station, all up over him. Don't give him no chance to breathe. Like, he can't eat alone. Like, just pick me. You're too nice for him. To, like, you like a pushover. Like, and he sees it. So, he's going to just talk to you any type of way, treat you any type of way, whether it's in your face or behind your back. Very interesting. But wouldn't it be fair to say that he's telling you one thing, but his actions show otherwise? He's still in the relationship with the girl? Yeah. And that's, you're saying, okay, you're saying her being a pick me is still attractive, or you're saying that's not attractive? I mean, your father's telling you one thing, but his actions show another, so what do we go off of? 
well, she she's unattractive <laughs> to him because she's being a pick me. That's unattractive. Well, I think the, the word you've been using is kind of wrong. Boring. I wouldn't say pick me. I would just say she's overly like clingy, clingy, and maybe doing too much. I, I, but, yes. but, but pick me isn't like a bad thing though. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, and the one me, it's her opinion though. She thinks a pick me is is, is bad. I think it's I think it's, it's like, bad when when you're doing enough for me to say you're a pick me because that then that means you're annoying in some sort. Yeah. You could be a normal woman and just you know not be a hoe, but you don't have to be a, a, a um I don't know like a a mega boring ass woman like you're still gonna get cheated on you might still get divorced like, yeah but what uh Myron is saying is he still with her you know what i'm saying so if he said with her then that means she's with him like I mean, but he told her to her face he don't want her every day and she's still there like but he's still dealing with her though yeah he's, he's still dealing with her though because she's still there he's because the she's a servant yeah she's a great reliable servant <laughs> she's yes a servant. she's a reliable well, servant that's what you want well just to add to that point if he's still there with her on some level her being like that does speak volumes. Yeah. But at the same time, a stage five clinger is annoying. Like, like, yeah. bro, if it goes clinging like that, I'm like, yeah. bro. But he never married her. She's like 50 something years old. Yeah, sure. And she pays the bills in the house. Yeah, sure. She does too much. Not. Well, that's why he would her. Why would he leave? But he would her. So, like, I, like I said before, this you is a perfect example you. of like, watch some. You could listen to someone's words, but always watch what they do. Yeah. Um, what about you? Uh, um, what is the one trait that a girl automatically uh, no longer qualifies for a relationship? Not having goals or okay. aspirations for the future. Okay. Not ambitious. Okay. Ambitious. Okay. Not. Question yeah. for you. Do you think men care about women's ambition? Mm, no. <laughs> so why would you say that that automatically disqualifies I mean, them from a relationship? If you're, well, like uh, some guys said there, if you're partying too much, if you don't think about your future, I mean, not being ambitious, but thinking about your future. Just. I mean, those are two different things. Okay, I said thinking about my future. He said being ambitious. Okay, being ambitious. But I said no, because he said goals. Not ambitious. Not she ambitious. Said I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So do but that, I'm do... talking about goals and thinking about your future, what's happening with your life. I mean, if you're just living the moment, partying, and don't give it, don't give a fuck about thought. what's happening in the future. That may be a what's your goals? Class. So do guys not care about that? No, I don't. No, they don't. I had a man that stood in my goddamn house that <laughs> just got out of jail. He got some money, obviously. D don't got a house, got a shitty ass car. I told me nobody cares. You got a master's degree. You did this, you did that, you got money. Hmm. Bitch, you don't have nothing, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh it's great. We don't care. They don't, they don't care, care at all. We don't no. care how much money they work at McDonald's. No, why, why do you think these girls walk around Walmart with thirty inch weaves? Because they know the niggas is coming to Walmart. They don't care, and yeah. they gonna still take yeah. them and wipe them like Byron so said. Because he agrees. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you know, saying nothing. No, it's it's not that. It's just um, it 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 really at this point. Well, we've interviewed almost seventeen hundred women on this podcast, mm -hmm. and it still to this day amazes me how little women actually know about what men 1660. want. Sixteen sixty. Yeah, sixteen, okay, sixteen, okay, sixteen hundred and sixty girls we've interviewed on the show, and a lot of them think that men care about a woman's ambition, her income, her career, her degrees. So you're okay with a woman well, who maybe just there gets you up and doesn't do anything every from day here, and not from Tinder? Oh, if there are so many women that come here and express their opinion, yeah, there you have your statistic here. Yes, not on my... Tinder. I mean, if they are all thinking the same. You understand yeah. that what we were talking about earlier with the Tinder was about what men find attractive yeah, as I age. Know, completely different. For you. Yeah, yeah, but but you got to use statistics where they make sense. Statistics. So what I'm saying is that women in general, right, from my <laughs> anecdotal experience, right, in general, think that men value things that men typically really don't. Most girls don't really know what men want is what I've come to realize from doing the show. Okay. They think they do, but they don't. But I'm saying, so you guys really don't care about a woman who, you know, works. I'll make it simple for you. The Go more ahead. money and the more status a man has, the less he cares about a woman's status and income. So I it's promise. okay if she just does nothing. No, they She's don't care. I don't care. They do not care. I can't let's say you were successful at making money. Your money is your money. Our money is your money and our money. money. So it's like, either way, it's like, we have to spend money on you. You don't spend money only on us. Do you know what I'm saying? As in like, your money is your money. No guy I says, yo, I'm... my dick is hard. This girl has a PhD or a master's degree. Okay. No guy cares about that. But I don't think women say, oh, my coochie is wet because he has a... 
I'm wet because he has a master's degree either. Yeah, well, no. No, but the, there's like my more more That man's master's degree will make him more than likely a higher earner, which is what women turn are turned on by because ambition, higher earnings, that all the, these are all security features. Men don't care about a woman's ability to provide security. Women do. Right. Men look for replication value. Women look for survival value. Is he tall? Does he make money? Is he confident? Is he a leader? Men look for, is she young? Is she beautiful? Is she fertile? We look to replicate. You look to survive. Now, I'll tell you what. <laughs> a man of means, <laughs> if you got debt, stay away from me. <laughs> like, if you got like, like a lot of debt, credit card oh, debt, debt yeah. student loan debt, that's it's a red a, flag. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bill. So. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's wild because like, girls don't know this shit, but like, you know, guys have to know what women want, but women don't necessarily have to know what men want. And yeah. I've always said it, it's because women are in a privileged position where guys are always going to approach them no matter what. Yep. So why the hell do you guys need to understand this if we're going to come to you anyway, regardless? No matter. If I had a bad bitch showing up to my house every day wanting to suck my dick, I wouldn't give a fuck about what <laughs> women want either. So anyway. Come on every day. Yeah. Uh, oh, trait that automatically disqualifies a girl from a relationship. Um, I would say having like baggage, a lot of exes and children. Okay. Having baggage. All right. Go ahead. Not wanting to have kids. Okay. Mm. All right. Automatic. I feel like March. If, if her hygiene is horrible and like her vagina smells, you're not going to date her. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we have. Um, so the question was, what automatically disqualifies a woman from a relationship with a man? You said profession, what she does for work, whether she's a bottle girl, maybe stripper, whatever it is. You said her, him having, ki uh, her having kids. You said her prioritizing partying. You said her being desperate. The woman is a prize. Lol. Uh, you said being a party girl and or a hoe. Well, you didn't want to say hoe, but you said being a party girl. Uh, you Maya said being a pick me. You said not ambitious slash partying you said uh lots of exes and children you said not wanting to have kids and then you said hygiene um though all these things are you know fairly important you guys all missed the biggest one man which again proves my point that girls don't know what the fuck guys want being a hoe is an automatic disqualifier ladies like said that. i said yes. that yeah. yeah but i had to say it for you you didn't want to say it and none of you overtly said it. Being promiscuous and coming with a fucking huge body count is going to disqualify you from a lot of guys. Because there's and, a right way to say the and, wrong thing. Well, here's the problem. Women are more concerned with how things are said versus what is said. Well, we yeah. just say the truth. You guys are more concerned with, I don't want the girls on the panel to judge me. I don't want to come off as an asshole. I don't want to come <laughs> off as a bitch and have the girls get mad at me. But none of you guys wanted to say the uncomfortable truth. And the reality is all of y'all know this. All of you guys were reluctant to say your body count for a reason. Girls know deep down the number one thing a guy cares about is you not being a slut. But girls don't want to admit this shit. And also, just to add to that point as Interesting. well, another thing you could add in there is being masculine. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're too masculine, oh, you're too yeah. argumentative, it's like, he don't want you around. He'll smash you, but like, he'll wipe you up. What yeah. do you mean too, masculine? too masculine? right? For example, let's say you're with somebody and every second is competition, it's arguments, it's like, yo, that's stressful. Like, I already go to work, slay the dragon. Oh, mm -hmm. when I come home, oh, I, just want, I just want peace. It's like, niggas don't want headaches. Keep a thousand with you. So cool. Mm. Anything? Chats? Nothing. 